Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share an interesting story of how I ended up getting my Fuji X-T4. What inspired me to make the shift and also talk about something really important. So stay tuned till the end. Let's begin with it. A few years ago, I was exploring different camera options online and stumbled upon numerous posts, videos and groups filled with passionate Fujifilm users. The global Fujifilm community is vibrant and inspiring. Seeing photographers from all around the world sharing their experiences, tips and amazing photos truly captivated me. It felt like Fujifilm was more than just a brand, it was a family. So after much debate, I decided to get myself a Fujifilm X-T4. And let me tell you, it has been an incredible experience so far. The camera's build quality, the vintage design, the intuitive controls and the beautiful film simulations have completely won me over. But here's the thing. After getting the camera, I was eager to connect with fellow Fujifilm users here in India. To my surprise, I found out that the Fujifilm community here in India is quite small compared to other countries. There are pockets of users here and there, but nothing like a cohesive, supportive network I saw abroad. This got me thinking about the importance of community. The community I was searching for when I got this camera. Being part of a community is more than just sharing photos. It's about learning from each other, growing together and feeling a sense of belonging. For many of us, photography is a journey and having a community to share this journey with makes it much more richer and more fulfilling. And talking about the Fujifilm community here in India, it's not what I was expecting it to be. And it's not like every camera brand is the same. I see Sony doing different sorts of activities which make the community stronger and bring everyone together. The main question from all of this is why having a community is important. Now back when I started photography, there were many events, workshops and photo walks held and the best part about that was we all came together as a community. Just to talk, chill, know each other and also share whatever we knew about photography with each other. But right now, things have changed a lot. Photography is often seen as a lone pursuit. It's so much more enriching when shared with others. Over the years, I have discovered that being part of a photography community has numerous benefits, both personally and creatively. Workshops, meetups, photo walks are fantastic opportunities to learn from each other. You get hands-on experience, see how other photographers approach their craft and get to ask questions in real time. Plus, it's a great way to push yourself out of the comfort zone and try something new. But it's not just about technical and creative aspect. Being part of a community also provides moral and emotional support. Photography can be challenging and it's easy to feel stuck and discouraged at times. Having a group of like-minded individuals who understand your struggles and celebrate your success can be incredibly motivating. Another important aspect is the opportunity to give back. As you grow and develop your skills, you can share your knowledge with others. Teaching and mentoring not only help others, but also reinforce your own understanding and passion for photography. See, personally speaking, I am a person who truly believes in community. And I guess that's the only reason why I started making videos on YouTube to give back to my community. Because I want to build a community which grows together, ask all sorts of questions, show their work, because this is what I was experiencing when I started photography. And the opportunity of giving it back to the people right now, at the time when the word community is really getting faded, I want to be someone who really want to give back to my audience, to my community, to the people who supported me at every point of time. Now what I had in my mind is I needed a community of Fujifilm photographers with whom I can share my work with, get some tips, learn about the camera 
and fuji film does have events and workshops now and then but i don't think so those help that much to build a community now these activities and workshop are something which a brand has to do anyhow for their marketing and here i am not blaming fuji film for anything i am actually blaming the people the people which make a community for making a community it's really important for a individual to take the lead and build a community which i feel in today's world is lacking one major factor for that is social media now platforms like instagram have revolutionized how we share and consume photography while these platform have their benefits they have also left to a shift in how communities function and one more reason is competition people have a high sense of competition right now and don't want to tell their secrets let me tell you one more thing when i started photography there was no mentor everything which i learned about photography was from youtube videos or by experimenting myself and when there was something which i didn't find answers to i used to message different photographers which were doing well at that point of time and never got a reply and that hit me hard and that's the time when you realize the importance of community right now people are more comfortable on instagram rather than going on photo walks and talking with each other and the reason for that is people don't care about any of the people around them and why i choose the topic of fuji film to start this video is because i had something else in my mind when i got the fuji film camera a community which grows together collaborates with each other and i guess i didn't get anything out of this everyone who is watching this video let me tell you guys we all can be a community share our work learn from each other and grow together and yeah this was something which was in my mind for a long time so if you like the video press the like button and if you want to be a part of this community subscribe to my channel and if you have something to ask the comment section is open feel free to ask any question you have regarding photography and i'll try my best to answer those questions and till then Happy shooting